What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? It's Lamont Tyson in the building, collaborating with his wife, Dr. Crystal Tyson. And we just sold our first commercial bill in this Tyson place that we put into five hard years of work. Somebody made us an offer about a half a million dollars. And you know what we said? We said, thank you. We'll take it. We moving on. But we're just recalling the memories and what it took to get this all done. And I'm going to be helping people that want to get into this type of thing. And if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so that you're down every time I drop a new Life Gains video. Life Gains on this channel has a foundation of fitness and finance. And we cover so many things under those topics. And we're also coaching people under some of those same topics. So stay tuned. We're going to jump into the video and tell you what our experience was like with commercial real estate. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, and all beautiful. The Sex is Hell host of Life Games Channel, Lamont Tyson, and I got my wife up here so you know it's a special occasion. Honey, you know what we're talking about today? I think so. I got you a surprise. You want it? Yeah, I'll give it here. <laughs> I brought home the bacon. You can cook it up. We just sold our first commercial property that we bought low, Ooh. held for five years, forced appreciation, got a tenant and used our exit strategy and I have brought my wife home a check for over six figures. How do you feel? Feel great. How you feel? I feel like a man. Good job. <laughs> a real man. A man that can deliver. A man that go hard okay. in the fourth. Okay. Oh, okay. So for those for those people out there that think getting into real estate is hard, we got into commercial real estate kind of as a caveat. We really wasn't planning on doing it. It was the backup plan in my business plan. Now that we did it, we kind of wish that we should have bought the real estate and tried to lease it to a tenant from the beginning. What memories can you share with everybody about what we went through in order to get to this point? I, I don't know to call, whether to call them memories or nightmares. <laughs> um, it, was, it was a mess. Um, mm -hmm. So we started off I don't even know where to start. Uh, we had a lot of issues that a lot of people go through with just property in general, let alone commercial. Mm -hmm. We had bad contractors in the beginning. The person that we yeah. initially signed up to do the contract with, stabbed us in the back, wasn't worth three cents. Then when we finally figured out that we couldn't do the business in the building, we wanted to go to plan number two, which was lease it to a tenant. You know, we had ups and downs with a tenant, but that is the process of American capitalism. You will have some ups and downs, but here's the thing to all that. Most American millionaires, a good percentage of their holding, even half of it, is real estate. And so I'm going to be your coach. I'm going to start coaching people about how to get into real estate and commercial real estate in the future. But going back to my wife here, how many times did you send me up there to that business and you felt like, was he going to come home? <laughs> <laughs> many a day. So it happened a lot of times where... As soon as we wake up, before we even out of the bed, the phone is ringing because stuff is going on. Um, and it would happen from sun up to sundown. And so Lamont would, I would try to motivate him, send him out the door, and knowing that he was just going to walk out into the lion's den before he would get home, it, he would go through so much. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. It was hard for me just being, you know, on the phone throughout the day, talking to him, listening about, listening to the mishaps of the day. Um, but it, it was rough. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was a lot of craziness going on. But at the end of the day, we're happy we have went through it. We are very much smarter now. We know what we're doing a little bit more in real estate than what we did in the beginning. And as we get ready to get back into it, because we're going to get some more properties, we have a better grasp of what we need to be looking for. The finite details that a lot of people wouldn't tell you that goes on in real estate from calculating your taxes to taking depreciation each year on your taxes and how those small numbers add up to big profit, which is why I'm so happy to bring it home to you, girl. <laughs> and I'm gonna spoil her, I'm gonna get in her, all kinds of new stuff that I wasn't able to do the last five years. But real estate is something that I encourage everyone to have 
in their in their portfolio somehow some way and i'm going to help make sure that people can get to that point so what would you like for us to get next you want to get some houses you want to get an apartment complex what do you want to do next I think it'll be important to get something to, I guess, basically diversify. Um, mm. So you don't want to depend on income coming in from one person. So if anything, at least a duplex, not a single mm. family home. So a duplex or um, or commercial. That's something we learn going forward. Anytime you take out a mortgage on any property, if you can put it into your plan, make sure that you can have more than one tenant. So that if that tenant, one tenant in your property can't make the payment for one particular month, you have other tenants under that same mortgage that can pay for you. That's something that we're gonna do completely different that we didn't do this time. Also, how you structure your lease in commercial. Something known as a triple net lease where you have your tenant pay for the building maintenance, the tenant pays for the taxes, and the tenant also pays for the insurance on the property. That's called triple net. We didn't know about that. We could have made an extra $10,000 had we known that in the beginning, but these are mistakes we're not going to make anymore. And y'all are going to have to deal with this Tyson family because we're going all the way up there where this NASA takes you. Ain't that right, honey? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> anything you want to say in closing on this glorious day? I have nothing else to say. I'm just ready for my, my, uh, my gifts. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to start living. We've yeah. been through... Yeah. So much. That's all you want me for? My money? That, that's all I'm that's all I'm here for? The money? Of course not. What about the honey? Oh goodness. Just <laughs> go. That honey. Uh-huh. Girl. Okay. Ain't that honey good? It's sticky. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with her. She's relieved. I'm relieved. We're happy to have done it. And we're happy to teach whoever out there that's following me that wants to learn. You can hit me up www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. If you want to learn a little bit more about real estate and commercial real estate, how to do it, and how you can make the thing work for you and your family to set up a long lasting legacy that goes beyond you but can go to your children. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy seeing my wife hop up here and smile and skin and grin oh, and show her pearly white teeth, her teeth so white I can see my reflection in them. Let me know if you want to see more of her. And until that next Sex is Hell video, you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? No, we good. Be looking out for her YouTube. She's so shy. We call her Dr. T, Kidney MD. I'm going to drop her YouTube real soon. And now I got to get my tea off the, the stove because it's starting to boil over. And we'll see you.